<laughs> All right, coming up on 1028, that means it's time for some celebrity dish. We got Chris Bevins and Brandon Washington, a.k.a. Yes. Writer Boy, in yeah. here. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good to see both of you. Y'all sharp. You know, thank you, thank nice. you. Yeah, you know, yeah, we might don't know a thing or two. You know? Right, right. I mean, a couple things. Yeah, they come rolling in here all starred up this morning. <laughs> Making us look bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Putting no yeah. effort. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. All right, y'all ready to jump in? Yes, yes. We'll talk a little more about you guys on the uh, on the back end of this, but uh, let's start with this. Producer Chris, he's in the control room with some explosive details about Nick Cannon's relationship with ex-girlfriend Jessica White that's leaving some eyebrows raised. What is it? What is it now, Chris? So this all came from the most recent episode of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Jessica White dropping a major bombshell about their relationship with Nick Cannon, okay? And this is new details. White, who was speaking with co-star Safari Samuels, who is Nicki Minaj's ex, when she revealed she wasn't allowed to date anyone else during her relationship with Nick Cannon. That comes despite the fact the two were in a polyamorous commitment. She said, quote, I was in an eight-year relationship. I wasn't allowed to have other partners, but he was. So this all comes, of course, after last month's allegation she made accusing Cannon of being emotionally abusive towards her. Nick has yet to respond to either comments from his ex. Guys, what do you make of that? Ooh, surprising at what all? You, well, yeah. What do you What do y'all think? Is it surprising? Um... Is no, there anything surprising in this thing? Yeah, not necessarily. No, 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 no. Um, even the woman that I'm with now, that I'm in a relationship yeah. with now, she recently got out of a poly amorous yeah. relationship and it was something very similar where she didn't really have the freedoms that he had absolutely okay and so it's not it's not um strange to me at all really what do you think uh, man we're in an interesting time with you know relationships and people identifying as, as what they want to identify and stuff and i feel like as long as you are a kind person mm -hmm. um you know I, I don't know nick personally um but for everything i've seen seems to be you know legitimate and seems to be you know a, a good person but um you never know what's going on behind closed doors mm -hmm. and i just hope that people continue to be as kind as possible hmm. and genuine yeah yeah, yeah. I agree with all that. And then the uh, other part is, so let me you get this. You said yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree with it. But. I agree with it. But I'm just saying, so let me get this straight. The guy says, I want to be able to date as many women as I want, whenever I want, and then tells the woman, no, you can't but do you that, can't. even though we're in that kind of relationship. Yeah. Okay, that's a, that's a shocker. <laughs> yeah. uh, and the other thing is, who doesn't know who Nick Cannon is with all these women at this point? Also I mean, true. she got Absolutely. into a relationship true. with him. It's yeah. not like he hit it. Yeah. So I'm just saying, when people show you who they are in regards to relationships, if he's got all these women, I mean, you... Believe it. Believe it. Hey, believe yeah. it. I mean, yeah. it is what it is. Yeah. Now, uh, the emotionally abusive stuff, I, I, you know, I'm going to leave that alone because that's between them. Yeah. Mm. But the other part, with all the women, okay, all right, no surprises. Okay, I, I have nothing. I'm not shocked, right? <laughs> a guy saying I can do this, but you can't. Right. Double standards between a man and a woman. Yeah. Who would have thought it? Just, Chris, just, just, I've never heard such a thing. Never, never. <laughs> Listen, I don't say it very often, but wisdom is 100% right. See, now you took it too far. Chris. See. Ooh. See. <laughs> All right, let's stay on the Nick Cannon bandwagon here because actress Vivica A. Fox is now extending an olive branch to Nick over. This comes after she roasted him for his polyamorous <laughs> relationships, calling him a clout chaser, guys. So this stemmed from comments Cannon made about her ex, who was 50 Cent. He made comments about his weight. So during her candid conversation with Andy Cohen, Fox says she hasn't heard from Nick since voicing her opinion, but she would like to reconcile. Fox was feeling the same way about her relationship with Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. She criticized the couple after Will's infamous Oscar slap. Fox believed Jada should have taken some accountability in the situation. She says she doesn't have any beef with them and hopes they can all move forward. Guys. It must be nice to live in a world where you can go on a podcast and just randomly talk about people's business. You know? Like when you're a celebrity, you're like, okay, well, today I'm going to diss this person that has nothing to do with me, technically. And then I'm going to diss this person, which really doesn't have anything to do with me. So it must be nice and then come back and say, ah, let's, I'm sorry, I was just playing. Because I would never, I mean, I'm not a celebrity, but I would never Oh, what? Yes, you are. We know about you. Know, I'm never going to die. I'm never going to die. know about you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Five, Last name Martin. Five years. Yeah. 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 in my house. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But I'm never, I'm never diving in public, diving into people's yeah. relationships and saying, oh, this person is that and yeah. polyamorous and then I don't dis. No. And I hope when the tables are turned, right. like you, you, you have 
that same pressure right. that you're giving on to others to describe this stuff and explain themselves. Yeah. I think that that's, yeah. that's very strange that yeah. I, I, I think hope you even, do. even in this moment, because even now, we're like even discussing type of things, uh, I try to be mindful of what I say, because yes. you never know when that's going to come back to you. So even right. with the, the last conversation we were just having, just be just smart about what you say about others. Right, yes. I do wonder, though, do you think Will Smith and Jada and Nick Cannon really even gave it any thought? That's the thing. Oh. Like, I don't think Will Smith and, and Jada... But the problem is... Although you... they were in a movie together, Jada and right. Vivica. Right. Yeah, remember Set It Off? Yeah, and then uh, <laughs> yeah. Vivica oh, yeah. was in with uh, Will Smith in Independence Day. Okay, yes. all right, all right. Well, I take My... back what I said. No, I'm just saying, when they, <laughs> when they, when you put stuff out there like that, and then some blog or reporter or some podcast gets it in, and they say, hey, guess what so-and-so said about you? And then it turns into a whole thing. A whole yeah. thing. That's my only yeah. thing. So that's Absolutely. why I'm like, nah. Um, I say, say just don't, just just keep moving. If yeah. I were Vivica, you know what? Unless you really hate the out. person, then you can do whatever you want. All right, Chris, what else you got? I'm going to talk about Kim Kardashian now because it wouldn't be Celebrity Dish without her because she is opening up about her feelings about her divorce from Kanye West. Okay. And she made those revelations on the latest episode of The Kardashians. Okay, so in a conversation with sisters Kendall and Kylie, Kim says she has a lot to be angry about in regards to her failed relationship with Kanye West, but tries not to let those emotions show in front of her, their children. Now, here's the other bombshell. Kim also said she jumped into a rebound relationship with Pete Davidson too fast. The pair began dating just nine months after she filed for divorce. Kim says she was dating Davidson to run away from her problems instead of facing them head on. She didn't get to feel, deal, or heal, and Kim says that that's her mantra going forward when faced with difficulties. Does this come as a surprise to you guys at all that Pete Davidson was just a rebound and not the right man for her? Yeah, no, I thought this was for the long haul, right? Like, I thought they were definitely so going to be we. celebrating 50-year anniversary. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. So okay. it's right. kind of it's disappointing, you know? What do you guys think? I think, honestly, she'd be better with me personally. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's just my thought. I'm just saying, but I don't know. What, what you think, baby? I don't know. I, don't know. I, I thought that it would last, too, but maybe that was my... Yeah, I don't know. Um... I try to stay out of other people's business. That's what I'm saying. That's what we just say. Um, I'm just trying to be out of it. No, I do totally wonder if rebound. he is like, honey, I knew that I knew I was the rebound. I was cool God, with that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but what do you think? Uh, I believe they call that jump off. I believe that's what uh, they call okay. or okay. side dude. I believe okay. that's what they, okay. what they call that yeah. when, yeah, because, come on. I don't think he's complaining. <laughs> yeah. Um, at all. Yeah, at we at do all. actually want to talk about uh, you all real quick because you guys have a lot going on. They're, they're a big deal in their own way, too. Oh, so uh, we'll start with you. What you got going on? Uh, so for me, I still producing, but I'm working on my first book. It's yes. uh, called Don't Be a Broke. Influencer, it's a little, this little pause in there. I don't know what I can and can't say. Influence. There you go. Yeah. And um, you know, I just feel like this is uh, important to to help influencers figure out how to make money. You know, gotcha. I think that's the most important thing. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. What about um, you? My debut independent feature film, Dream, is out on Amazon. Of that's course, awesome. it's um, based on my life. And today, I will be releasing the soundtrack for Dream on all streaming platforms called Conversations with God. That is, nice. wow, I okay. love that. So how can folks uh, support you and yeah. your book and then you and your project? For me, uh, Instagram is at Chris Bivens, B-I-B-I-N-S, and I'll pass it Same, to you. at I am writer boy on all platforms. Okay, you guys are local too, right? I know you said you're from D.C., yep, you as well. Yeah, born in D.C., but I live in uh, Maryland. So there you go, yeah. support right. our own. Doing big things. Big, yes. big, big things. things. All right, Excited. thank you for joining thank us. You so thank you so much. Thank you guys. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> all right, Holly, we'll send it over to you.